Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mr. Sacedo's science classroom. Today we're going to be doing a density and buoyancy and a little bit of viscosity demonstration. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that you have a couple of different mixtures on this table and we're going to be mixing them together. So for the first one, we're going to be mixing uh, light corn syrup, which is right here, with uh, salt water, which I've dyed green. And so uh, before we mix them together, though, predict which one you think is going to be uh, sinking, basically. The most viscous, the one with the, the highest density. And I've already poured the light corn syrup in the bottom of this container. It just took like a really kind of long time. And then uh, here is the salt water. So let's let me move this out of the way. And uh, we'll see if your prediction was correct. So, uh, for your picture, we have about 20 milliliters or so. Let's try to zoom in a little bit. 20 milliliters of uh, the light corn syrup, and it goes up to 50, so about 30 milliliters of salt water, and that's what this would look like. All right, for the second mixture, let me move these out of the way. For the second mixture, I have regular water, which I've dyed now kind of green. And then I have uh, canola oil. And so I'm gonna mix those two together and we'll see which one kind of sinks or floats. All right, and so this one didn't get cleaned out very well in the last class, but it's all right. So here is the water first. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna add the uh, canola oil. All right, so let's... So again, you can see we've got canola oil on top, and we've got our regular water here on the bottom, and it's dripping a little bit, but that's okay. So again, we've got about uh, 30 milliliters of water, and about 30 milliliters, in this case, of uh, canola oil on top. So that's our second mixture there. All right, and then last but not least, I have uh, pure corn oil, and I have rubbing alcohol, so we're gonna mix those together. So I'm gonna put the corn oil in here. There we go. Again, making a mess, but that'll work. And then I've got my rubbing alcohol, which I'm gonna pour now on. There we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, so now I have rubbing alcohol on top and then corn oil underneath. And so how many milliliters is that? Uh, let's see, maybe 40. 40 or so milliliters of corn oil, and then about 30 maybe milliliters, maybe a little bit less, of rubbing alcohol. Okay? And so these are the three pictures that you are going to draw in. So we've got, this is experiment one, two, and then three. Now when we flip over your paper, we're gonna mix all of these guys together and kind of see how many layers we see. So I'm gonna start with this one since it has the thickest liquid in it. And we'll just pour, pour that down. You can see the, the high viscosity that this has. It's taking forever to, to pour it all down. That's okay. Still kind of gross. But that's probably more than enough. All right, so now we have that at the bottom. Now I'm gonna pour my next solution. Let's see what happens. It looks like the green is gone, definitely. And then my last couple of solutions. There we go, all right, so. Uh, let's take a look at how many layers we see because that's one of the questions that you have to answer and how many colors do we see? All right, so I see, let's see, how many colors and how many different layers do you see? Let me turn this around a little bit. And by the way, the uh, numbers don't really match because this is not out of 100 milliliters. This is much bigger. But how many different layers and colors do you see? Yeah, that is a little layer at the bottom, by the way. So what do you think? How many? And so which one is the most viscous? It looks like that was the corn syrup. 
And then which one was the least viscous and the lightest or the thinnest? Uh, I can't really tell, but it looks like it might be canola oil over here at the top. It might be canola oil at the top. All right. So now, last bit. We're going to draw one final picture, and I'm going to add a couple of drops of food coloring to this, and we're going to see how that affects the uh, different layers in here. So actually, let me move this to a little bit better view. All right, so I'm going to start with a couple of drops of green food coloring. There's one, two, and one, two, three. So there we go. The first drop has dropped. Turn it around. You can see it. It's falling. And then, whoa! When it goes through that layer, it spreads out like crazy. Again, you can see a drop going through. And then it goes all the way down almost near the bottom here. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. It's kind of like a lava lamp. I'm gonna mix, mix this around. So it looks like I've got a big green blob up here. And I've got a beautiful, it almost looks like uh, ink from a squid or an octopus. Right here. And so this is what you're gonna draw your final picture of. Take a look. And that is our density, viscosity, and buoyancy demonstration.